A quicker way of magnetising the nail uses electricity. Wrapping wire around it and passing an electric current through it has a magnetising effect. This is an electromagnet. The scanner makes the magnetism visible. The arrows show that an electric current through a coil of wire produces a magnetic field. See how similar it is to the pattern produced by a bar magnet. But the field produced by electricity through the coil is weaker. If the coil is big enough and the electric current is high enough, then the piece of metal will stay permanently magnetised. Take a look at this. There you have it. This factory uses electricity to make hundreds of permanent magnets every day. But what are they made from? Iron isn't good enough on its own, so they mix it with other metals, including nickel and cobalt. Any mixture of metals is known as an alloy. In the foundry, this alloy is heated up to 1600 degrees Celsius before being poured into a mould. One mould makes about 20 horseshoe magnets. The first stage of magnetisation involves heating up the metal shapes again, then cooling them down in a strong magnetic field produced by the massive coils of wire that make up this platform. The electric field has a magnetising effect. Once they're painted, they're packaged up. The permanent magnets they make here go all over the world and end up in all sorts of places.